tool, LLM, has just taken the AI world by storm. It's bringing to users the resources provided by several APIs, making it one of the most useful LLMs with the capability of serving almost any purpose. In this video, we'll be exploring the capabilities of this insane new technology, which has been found to have better performance than Microsoft Gorilla. And if you remember from our last video on Gorilla, it has an ability that's projected to surpass that of ChatGPT. And Tool LLM seems to be displacing it now. That's very much amazing if you ask me. Tool LLM also serves as a framework for training large language models when it comes to using tools to optimize their performances. This is a major step forward from the regular natural language models like ChatGPT and BARD. Although earlier LLMs have really mind-blowing capabilities, they're still very much limited when it comes to operation. In fact, the abstract of the paper published on Tool LLM says, despite the advancements of open source large language models and their variants like Llama and Vicuna, they remain significantly limited in performing higher level tasks such as following human instructions to use external tools or APIs. This is because current instruction tuning largely focuses on basic language tasks instead of the tool use domain. And this is basically a gap that the model is here to fill. The good news here is that it's an open source model, so developers can cash in on its capabilities to create something really magical. Now, let's look at what some of these abilities are. It's important to note that this large language model has been found to consist of three main components that unite to make up the singular capability of the model. The first of the features is the Toolbench, which is basically a data set of instructions for using tools. The instructions are generated automatically done using a chatbot, and they cover a variety of tools and tasks. With this feature right here, Tool LLM can call up different tools that will run specific operations. Ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at a complete unification of the vast resources that are available on the internet, creating one megastructure tool that will be able to do almost anything you ask. The other component is the DFSDT, or Depth First Search Based Decision Tree in full, which is a planning algorithm that helps the LLM to find a sequence of steps to complete a task. It says right here in the paper, that to make the searching process more efficient, we develop a novel depth-first search-based decision tree, or DFSDT, enabling LLMs to evaluate multiple reasoning traces and expand the search space. This component can search the available tools to find the most suitable to complete a given task, which will be determined by the prompt from the user, making the model a whole lot more efficient in carrying out tasks. The third component, on the other hand, which is Tool Eval, helps the system keep an eye on the operation of the model. It's an automatic evaluator that can be used to assess the performance of an LLM on tool use tasks. This way, you can easily monitor how your program is performing and show areas that will need some attention from the developers. Tool LLM at the moment has over 16,000 APIs plugged into it, with categories ranging from artificial intelligence, business intelligence, cloud computing, data science and finance, to healthcare and beyond. What this means is that you can ask the AI to play music from Spotify or identify a video from YouTube and it will be able to do just that. If you tried such commands on the present models, they'll just come up with a bunch of text reminding you that they're text-based models. The amazing thing about Tool LLM is that it's bound to get a whole lot bigger from this point making it a lot more capable of carrying out virtually every task that a user could possibly ask it to perform. With time, new APIs will be added that will make it capable of carrying out other tasks. Tool LLM has not only been shown to be effective at training LLMs to use a variety of tools, including APIs, web services, and command line tools. It's also been shown to be able to generalize to unseen tools and tasks. This means that it can actually learn about new tools really fast and make use of the knowledge to carry out a task that you would like it to do. I'll be throwing more light on that. Since Tool LLM is only trained on more than 16,000 LLMs at the moment, it's possible that a user will need to apply one that hasn't been added to the dataset. Not to worry, Tool LLM has the capability to learn from the suitable model that the user wants and is able to execute tasks efficiently. 
Now, here is the process involved in learning new APIs. Firstly, the AI parses the Toolbench dataset, which will allow it to extract the metadata and documentation for each API, giving it the knowledge of what the API is all about in the first place. The extracted pieces of information are used to create a knowledge graph of the API. The knowledge graph represents the relationships between the different parts of the API, such as the different endpoints, parameters, and return values. Tool LLM is trained on the knowledge graph. This training allows Tool LLM to learn about the structure and functionality of the API, and learn every possible way the API can be used to execute the task at hand and how it can possibly be applied to future tasks. For Tool LLM, when given a new task that requires it to use an API, it uses depth-first search tree reasoning to explore different possible ways to achieve the task. Tool LLM selects the best way to use the API based on its knowledge of the API and the task at hand, making it a lot more efficient than older LLMs. I can't say I'm really surprised about these new interesting models springing up, because it's something that's always going to happen when competition gets heated up. And all the open source training models have allowed smaller startups access to data that could have been incredibly expensive to gather and operate. There are some really obvious benefits of making use of this model in training other AI models, and I'll just mention a few. This model can be used to optimize existing models, which will definitely bring new capabilities to these models. This seems to be the right moment for that, as many companies have been working really hard recently to see that their AI products are working as they should. It trains LLMs to use a wide variety of tools. Also, depending on the form of training data used in making an AI model, some of the tasks might just be a bit too much for the model to work on. However, with the introduction of Tool LLM, it can be used to train LLMs to generalize to unseen tools and tasks. This will be a very necessary feature to have, if at all we intend to move to AGI soon enough, where AI will be required to deal with real-life situations with endless possibilities. Already, some models are being taken through zero-shot training to help evaluate them on new, unforeseen tasks. And speaking of evaluation, Tool LLM can help developers assess the performance of LLMs on tool-use tasks. Now, if you're familiar with the AI trend, any amazing product will always have some gray areas where it needs to be tweaked for a more efficient operation. Tool LLM is no different. Let's look at some of the downsides of this AI tool. To begin with, the model requires a large dataset of instructions for using tools, and a large dataset translates to more storage space being required. Running such can also be computationally expensive to train an LLM on Toolbench, and it's not yet clear how well Tool LLM can be used to train LLMs to use complex tools and tasks. But since the tool just joined the market, there's still a lot of room for improvement, and things will most likely get a whole lot better with some minor tweaks. Overall, Tool LLM is a promising framework for training LLMs to use tools. It has the potential to enable LLMs to perform a wider range of tasks, and it can be used to assess the performance of LLMs on tool use tasks. Tool LLM isn't the only framework that has this capability at this point. In addition to Tool LLM, there are other frameworks and tools that can be used to train LLMs to use tools. Some of these frameworks are Langchain, which is a framework for building and deploying LLM agents. It provides a variety of tools that can be used to interact with the real world, including APIs, web services, and command line tools. We also have Turing, an open source AI tool that can be used to build and control personal LLMs. It provides a simple interface that allows users to fine tune their LLMs to specific tools. Another one, Flowwise AI, is an open source UI visual tool that simplifies the process of building customized LLM flows using Langchain.js. It allows users to drag and drop tools to create complex workflows, so developers can explore these resources and make the best out of them as expected. These frameworks and tools provide different capabilities and features, so the best choice for a particular project will depend on the specific requirements. Tool LLM was created with a collaborative effort. It was developed by a collaboration between Google AI, the Allen Institute for Artificial Intelligence, and the University of Washington. This project was led by researchers from Google AI, including Ilya Satskever, Oriol Vinyals, and Kwok Vile. 
this is really promising new development that I hope will make things a whole lot better than it is with LLMs at the moment. That'll be all for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.